Hi, it's Maria from Still Dreaming Homestead. Happy to be back with you. Tonight's the night we get to do a Bible story again. First, I want to see if you remember the memory verse we did two days ago. It was from Genesis 131. God looked at everything he had made and it was very good. You want to say that with me? All right. Genesis 1, 31. God looked at everything he had made and it was very good. So last week we got to tell the story about when God created this world. We have a new story today. This one's called Noah's Big Boat. Now, lots of times when you hear it, people will call it an ark. An ark is a big boat. This is today's memory verse. Psalms 89.1. Psalms 89.1. I will sing about the Lord's love. Okay, say it with me. I will sing about the Lord's love. One more time. I will sing about the Lord's love. All right. So we're going to be learning uh, today that we can thank God for taking good care of us. Can you see Josie there in the bathtub and his boat he's playing with in the water? Well, today's story is going to be about a man named Noah who made a big boat called an ark. And we're going to hear about that now. This man is Noah. Right here. Can you see him? Mm -hmm. Noah lived a long time ago. Noah was God's special friend. One day God told Noah, it's going to rain and rain. Water will cover the whole world. You better make a big boat. You and your family will be safe in that boat. God showed Noah just how to make the boat. Can you see a picture of a boat in this? <coughs> Look carefully at the map that Noah is holding the big piece of paper. That's the boat. <coughs> Sorry. So Noah started to make the boat. See the people? These people are helping Noah. Noah cut big boards for his boat. And this is a picture of what his saw might have looked like. Noah used the saw to cut wood. Cutting the wood with the saw. Mrs. Noah may have made good food to feed all the hungry workers. I bet she did. One day Noah's big boat was finished. Then out of the trees and the forest, look! Animals came walking towards Noah's big boat. They just came out and began walking. Two big lions padded to the boat. Two little rabbits hopped in. Two kangaroos jumped into the boat. Birds flew in it. 
It was an animal parade. Angels led the animals right into the ark. Look at all these animals. What do you see? Kangaroos, horses, monkeys, sheep. But look, there's more than seven sheep. Sheep is one of the animals they call a clean animal. And of clean animals, there were seven. And clean means that they're okay for people to eat. Then Noah and his family went into the boat. God shut the door and locked it. Rain began to fall. Day after day, it rained and rained and rained. The water outside the boat got higher and higher. But God sent angels to watch over the big boat. It floated safely on top of the water. Noah was inside safe. Noah's wife and his children were safe too. The animals in the big boat were safe. Now, something else that Noah had uh, put in that ark before the animals came was all sorts of food for the animals because they would need to eat. Can you see some hay here? And, oh, there's some milk. Maybe they got that from the cow. Whatever the animals needed, Noah had brought in. God took care of Noah's family and the animals until the earth was dry again. Then God opened the door to the ark and let Noah and his family and the animals go out. Look up, said Noah, no more rain. God took good care of us. Let's thank him. If we do what God asks us to do, we can count he will always take good care of us. Noah and his family thanked God for taking care of them. Then God put a beautiful rainbow in the sky. God made the rainbow to remind us of his promise. He will never again cover the whole earth with a flood. Now there might be small floods maybe in towns or cities, but it will never cover the whole world at one time again. God takes good care of us too. Let's thank God for taking care of us. Lord, I want to thank you that you take such good care of us. You give us everything we need. You gave us parents, or grandparents, or aunts, or uncles, you gave us someone to take care of us when we were small. You provide the food for us. You give people jobs so that they can earn money and go out and buy it, or maybe so they can raise it on their own farm. You help us to have a shelter so when it's cold outside, we can be inside. Or when it's too hot, the sun's blistering, we can go inside then too. Lord, you thought of everything we would need. And we thank you and we love you, Lord. In Jesus' name, amen. Okay. Here's a little song that they have. I will sing about the Lord's love. I will sing about the Lord's love. I will sing about the Lord's love, his love to me. Okay. I will sing about the Lord's love. 
I will sing about the Lord's love. I will sing about the Lord's love. And how he takes care of me. I will sing about the Lord's love. I will sing about the Lord's love and how he takes care of me. Well, I hope you liked today's story. I did. It's a good story. It's good to be reminded of these things. Well, it's Maria from Still Dreaming Homestead. I'll be back again tomorrow with another story. It'll be a different type tomorrow because I do the Bible story every other day. I just want to say I love you. I really do. But even more importantly, way more importantly, God loves you and he always will. Good night.